An alarming update from the UK's Ministry of Defense this week saying in a tweet, Russia has confirmed the use in Ukraine of the Taos-1 Alpha weapon system that uses thermobaric rockets. The UK explaining in a video the impact of thermobaric weapons can be devastating. And while not illegal under international laws of armed conflict, they can't be used against targets if their launch could also harm civilians. The Pentagon is saying Wednesday, though, the U.S. has no indications that Russia has used thermobaric or vacuum bombs so far. I think it's really important that we do talk about these terms. As Thomas Hughes, a postdoctoral fellow at Queen's University's Center for International and Defense Policy, explains, this type of bomb is different in part from a more traditional one that has a single explosive charge. A vacuum bomb, thermobaric bomb, is slightly different in the sense that it has two charges that go off. But the first explosion uh, sends out a, a sort of vaporized cloud of material, uh, particles. The second charge then detonates and causes an explosion that is not just that single charge anymore, not just like the bomb, but it detonates uh, that uh, vaporized material as well. And it's called a vacuum bomb um, simply because to keep that explosion going, it requires more oxygen from the surrounding area. So it sucks in oxygen. The blast creates a longer duration of pressure, he adds, over a greater area. The effects on the human body are deadly. Those close to the epicenter will be killed almost instantly, while those further away could have the oxygen sucked out of their lungs. For me, the most significant component of this is simply uh, that once fired, they are going to cause huge radius of damage. And controlling who is caught up in that damage is almost impossible. It's not just that the suffering is worse, but that more civilians could potentially be in harm's way. Absolutely. So, for example, these types of weapons were used against al-Qaeda, in my understanding, uh, in Afghanistan. You can uh, fire one of these weapons and the explosion will go down the different tunnels within the cave. Of course, what that means in the context that we're looking at right now is that um, similar effects may be felt in basements where civilians are sheltering. Thinking of the thousands of people hiding in subway stations too. Absolutely, completely. That, that for me is the real horror of, of this sort of weapon, that we are uh, going to see if they are used in the wrong place, for want of a better word, mass casualties. At least 549 civilians have been killed so far in Ukraine. That's according to the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights. Now, dozens of those victims are children and nearly a thousand people have been hurt. Numbers, though, are unreliable. That agency saying in their own update Thursday, they believe the actual figures are considerably higher, especially in government controlled territory and especially in recent days. Melissa Duggan, City News.